In this tutorial, we are going to use the hour, minute, and second feature in P5.js to visualize time. So I have my P5.js reference pulled up, um, and there is actually a chapter on time. Um, so under this chapter, we see that there is day, hour, minute, millis, month, second, year. Um, I'm going to go into hour and just get a sense of what is involved. So, so apparently, hour is a function that communicates with the computer that's accessing the P5 sketch and returns a number that reflects the hour and it operates on the, the 24 unit basis. Um, so, so now, for instance, it's 3 p.m. and that would be 15 o'clock um, in this 24 hour unit. So great, let's actually go to P5 and just start using it. I am going to declare a variable um, hour and that's going to indicate my hour and I can do that for minute and second so here I'm going to first print my timeout and actually um, I want to introduce a new way of displaying information in console.log and using something called the template literal. So, so usually, um, if I wasn't using the template literal, I might write something like this. So it is H, um, maybe something like that. So if I had played, that's what we got, right? And that's a pretty complicated like line to have to type in. And a lot of times it's easy to make a mistake because it's, it's just so long, long and hard to read. So an easy way to, to write um, something into the console is using something called the template literal. And here's the syntax for the template literal. You actually would use the back tick um, that look like this. And if you're on a Mac computer, it's on the upper left corner of your keyboard, right under your escape key. So you use the back tick and you can essentially write, it is, you know, something, something o'clock. And in order to write a variable into the template literal, you actually would have to use a dollar sign, opening and closing curly bracket, and just put your variable in there. Um, so it is, and, and using, using this like allow you to not have to break that sentence into many different parts. So I'm gonna put my colon here just like normal and use another dollar sign, M colon dollar sign S <laughs> and O clock. I'm gonna disable the one above it. So, so you can see, um, it looks really strange, but this is the way um, that lets it lets lets you conveniently uh, integrate variables into your your console.log string. All right, so now we have the time printed for us. And we can actually use this variable to draw all kinds of visualization, right? And so what about, um, I will start from the second first and maybe I will just create a rectangle that is going to be positioned at the center of my screen. And, and maybe the second will be the width and the height and I will just amplify the size of the second so that it will be times five. So I'm going to hit play now and I'm also going to change my rec mode 
so it's going to be center and there so so you can see now I have a display for my second and it just kind of kind of keep growing um, up to like the 60th second and and then return back to zero second right so you can do this for you know seconds hour minute you can turn them into any shape you want <laughs> and essentially you can create this really interesting unconventional kinds of um, visualization for clock okay so next I would like to show you how you can use arcs to visualize time um, so I made a simple chart here and you can see that on the inner rings um, where it's grayscale it represents the radiant chart and the degree chart and on the outer rings it represents how um, a clock or a watch usually map time so so the differences between the inner rings and the outer rings is that um, for the for the degree chart the starting point for that is actually on the right hand side and the same goes to the radiant chart actually and for a regular clock we we all should know that zero starts from the top right so actually in order to make it easier for us to to um create a clock using arcs we should match the position of zero so what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw an arc and i'm going to rotate it counterclockwise 90 degree so that it's going to match how a regular clock works so here i'm going to delete my rectangle and i am going to use the degree mode here um, delete this too so angle mode degrees and i'm gonna draw a arc here and the arc is um actually i'm also going to use translate first so translate and i want to translate my whole um drawing into the center of the canvas so that's going to be width divided by two and height divided by two and my arc is going to start at zero zero so right in the center of the canvas width and height is going to be 400 400 and here is the point right um, the starting point of my arc is going to start from zero and the ending point of my arc is going to be um let's just put 360 for now okay so so i have an arc <laughs> starts on zero ends on 360 that's a full circle so if i want to make it bring it closer to um, using this arc to display seconds i can actually plug my s into there so if i plug this s in and hit play it is actually going to increment um on the second basis right but but the, the the largest it's going to move is there is only going to move by 60 degrees the most right because there's only 60 seconds to work with so so we gotta amplify that um so there's 360 degrees in a circle and there are 60 seconds in a minute right so what i have to do here is times six so that when the second is at its fullest 60 second it is going to go the full circle and fulfill 360 degrees so so there we have it and you can see in the console log that we are at 56 seconds and it is ending on the right hand side of um the the chart right just as expected so now we're gonna rotate the whole circle back um, so that it's going to work in a regular orientation um, and here I'm going to use rotate 
and I'm just going to use minus 90. So everything rotate 90 degrees to the left. Okay, so here I have my second. I'm actually going to give it some color and it's going to be 255, um, 255, zero, and I'm going to give it a slight opacity. So it's going to be 80. Okay. And I'm actually going to also take off the stroke. Nice. So we're going to have a second, a minute, an hour, all sort of like rotating um, within an arc context. So let me add the minute here. And again, um, I'm gonna make it 0, 0, 350, 350. So slightly smaller and starting at zero um, and ending at M times six. So, so minute is the same, right? There's 60 minutes in an hour. And so we have to time six for it to fulfill that 360 degrees. And I'm gonna give this a different feel and it's gonna be 204, 204. 25580. So it is subtle, but um, I'm going to actually take my background off. Um, I'm going to make it 255 so you can see better. So you can see that now we have a minute display and it's displaying at 28, right? Um, great. And now let's add the hour. So arc, again, 0, 0, 300, 300, and 0 hour. Um, so for hour, we can think about it. I, I'm, I can actually use my console.log to, to help me calculate. So I'm going to use console.log, and I'm going to say, um, 360 degrees divided by 24, right? So there's 24 hours in a day, and we want that to fulfill 360 degrees. And that is going to be 15. So we have to time 15 here. And we have to give this a different color. So 204, I pre-calculated this, 255, 245, 80. So, so if you follow these steps, you should be able to create, you know, a, a clock using arcs. But obviously, feel free to build on top of this and, and make different kinds of surprising visualization using the hour, minute, and second functions.